Hey, what's up guys? So we're going over this army we just got from Brian Mosley over at Gray Slayer Painting. So he knocked this out pretty quickly. He's one of the commission artists that I'll hire when I can't paint my own stuff. And he, yeah, he like pretty much knocked this out in a month. He also did our previous Old Dominion army, which was way more models than this. So yeah, this was pretty cool. He knocked this out in a month before he had a big, I believe he's going to some cons or uh, events or something. So he's gonna be busy for a month or two, but he was able to knock this out before then. So yeah, let's check it out. So this is the Sorcerer King's army from uh, Parabellum's game Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings. I know it's a mouthful. So this is their new army. It's kind of Middle Eastern themed, which is pretty cool, which is uh, why I wanted to get one started. And I was just kind of getting bored of playing just basic armies. Needed something with a, a little bit more rules, and this has a lot of rules. They kind of remind me of Eldar from Warhammer 40k. There's a lot of synergy, which means I will die a horrible death. <laughs> so yeah, let's just check out these uh, models here. So these are like the basic infantry. These are their light troop. There's light, medium, uh, heavy. So these are their light. They're called ghouls. G-H-O-L. Or is that gall? I'm not sure. And uh, before I go even farther, I want to go over one thing. Something I really hate about some of their new models. They changed their basing to have this like little circle. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Get closer there, let's focus. So there's that little circle. So you can't just put a little mag uh, metal washer here if you want to magnetize your trays. And then on the bottom of these, they did this like little indentation so that you can't just put a, like a big, like for me, I like putting these big magnets so that they're for sure magnetized for transit and on the tabletop. So they kind of chose for you, you have to use a small magnet. It's kind of BS. I wish they went back. Um, if I were to go for another army and I knew that they were doing this with bases, I would just 3D print my own bases and bases. Oh, bases and trays, sorry. So yeah, it's one annoyance with the new models. But anyway, yep, let's go back to our showcase. Very cool. Brian doesn't really use metals, so he kind of does like a non-metallic metal. If that's something you're into, it's growing on me. Check out this big Sorcerer King heavy model here. This is the Rock Shasha Baksura. I totally butchered that. <laughs> There's some lists running like two of these guys, so I just went with one. Actually, I, I, I actually really like his non-metallic metal on this model and the kind of uh, the OSL, the lighting of the flames on the armor. Pretty cool. And over here we got some Dijin. Some genie archers here. The Windborn Dijin. Is it Dijin or Jin? I'm not sure. And then over here, we'll do our characters last. So this is something pretty cool. This is four, um, or sorry, these are 12 trays, but this is actually from two sets, some two boxes of sets. So I got the uh, sword, uh, or sorry, not sword, flame sword dancer, yeah. These are the uh, flame sword, or no, sword flame dancers. I need to, I need to know for sure. Ifrit sword dancer, oh, so off. Okay, so the, these are the Ifrit sword dancers. These are pretty cool too. Non-metallic metals painted by Brian here. I like the flame effects. And then over here, so this is a uh, two, like you could build either the flame casters or the sword dancers. And they give you the parts for both. The only thing you're missing are the bodies. So they give you the heads and the arms extra. So what Brian did, he uh, used tin foil and hot glue to kind of build up a, a mass and the aluminum foil kind of gave it the texture of flames. So that's pretty cool. So you pretty much got like four units out of two boxes. That's hella value. And if you're wondering, the chest, that's just like um, Illumineth Realm, Realm Lord's shield from uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, just glued into the chest to give it some oomph. So you, you don't see their little nips on the battlefield. 
So yeah, there's that. Pretty cool. And then over here we have our characters. We got the sorcerer, just the basic sorcerer. Nothing fancy there. And if you're wondering, these trays are from Thingiverse. I'll, uh, I'll throw a link of these below if you want to give these a print yourself. Oh, also, these trays were also printed off Thingiverse because I needed uh, six trays and six bases. So that's pretty cool. Let me back over here. Got our two Raj. Get a close up there. Very cool. And then over here we got our Maharaja. I like the flame effects again, very cool. As you can tell, there's a lot of flame in this army. Fires, there's fire everywhere. There's, there's uh, two th uh, themes, I believe. There's fire and there's wind. So, there you go. All right, so that is the army. Hopefully we can get a battle report in soon and I'll see you guys on the next one, peace.